Layoffs sweeping the United States. Companies laying off workers. Layoffs have been sweeping across American businesses this year. What is causing it? Layoffs can seem devastating, but changing trends and demands are calling for them. Hello and welcome to Tom's Do-It-Yourself Investing, a channel where we discuss personal finance tips, investing guides, real estate, and the stock market. During this year, major companies have announced thousands of planned layoffs, and that's just the tip of the iceberg. Thousands of more layoffs are on their way. Many American workers may not be aware of this trend because it does not make headlines like it once did, but layoffs are still a major problem for the domestic economy, and a lot of people are about to get fired. In this video, we will be talking about the layoffs sweeping the United States. So without further ado, let's dive right in. Which American businesses have done large layoffs? Some of the world's largest companies have made recent layoffs. The layoffs have hit every sector of the economy, healthcare, retail, aerospace, and more. According to the recent statistics, Apple has reportedly laid off 100 employees, HBO Max has cut 70 jobs, and Microsoft has laid off 200 employees recently in August 2022. Peloton fired around 2,800 employees in February 2022, and according to the Wall Street Journal, popular e-commerce platform Shopify plans to lay off 1,000 employees, equivalent to 10% of its workforce. Being a renowned video hosting platform didn't stop Vimeo from cutting jobs, and they cut around 6% of staff in July 2022. And the CEO justified it by saying, quote, we are making this decision in order to ensure we come out of this economic downturn a stronger company. Why are businesses laying off workers? The main reason that companies have been laying off workers this year is to cut costs in response to slower business growth. Slower economic growth has triggered a drop in demand for many goods and services. As a result, businesses have not been able to sell as many products as they had expected. With too much unsold inventory on their hands, companies have had to cut production and reduce their staffing levels. Slower growth has also caused businesses to reduce their investment in new technology and marketing campaigns. This has reduced the number of workers needed to generate a given level of revenue. Layoffs due to rising labor costs. Some layoffs can be traced to rising labor costs. The growing cost of health insurance premiums has led many employers to shift health coverage costs from themselves to their employees. This has forced many workers to pay higher premiums for health insurance, and some of that money has come out of their pockets as take-home pay. Rising minimum wages have also forced some employers to lay off workers. This is especially true in cities and states where the minimum wage has been increased recently. Layoffs due to mergers and acquisitions a merger or acquisition is a corporate transaction in which two or more entities join together to form a new entity or business. In the event of a merger, the acquiring company typically assumes control over the assets and liabilities of the acquired business. For example, if Company A acquires Company B, then Company A will take over all the assets and liabilities of Company B, including any employees that may have been working for Company B before its acquisition by Company A. Sometimes, a company will merge with another company in order to increase its size and scope. If the new entity acquires more customers or creates more revenue than it did before the merger, this could result in an increase in profits. This can also lead to an increase in employee layoffs, as fewer employees are needed due to increased sales and profits and each employee's performance will be reassessed. Those who are not performing or are not needed anymore will be laid off. Anytime there's a change at work, there's a risk that an employee might be laid off, especially as companies continue to consolidate. Losing a job can be devastating for anyone, but it can be especially tough for people who depend on it as their primary source of income. Which industries have laid off the most workers? While every sector of the economy has seen layoffs, some industries lay off workers more than others. The industries that lay off the most workers have one thing in common. They are heavily regulated. These industries include healthcare, transportation, and energy. The healthcare sector currently accounts for nearly a third of all announced layoffs. This is not surprising given the government imposed increase in healthcare costs. 
Industries with less regulation have been growing while the highly regulated industries have been shrinking. The industries that have seen the fewest layoffs include professional services and technology. Other layoff trends to watch. One worrisome trend is that many companies are outsourcing their operations to other countries. This can lead to layoffs for employees in the United States. If you work for a company that has begun outsourcing some of their operations, you may be at risk of losing your job. Another possible trend is that many companies are replacing full-time employees with contractors. The reason for choosing contractors is to save costs as employees on contracts usually do not get benefits. This will not show up in the employment data, but it may still reduce job opportunities for American workers. How many people might lose their jobs? If current trends continue, the number of layoffs in 2023 may eclipse the number of layoffs in 2022. It is impossible to tell how many of the planned layoffs will actually take place. Some employers may change their mind about laying off workers as the economy improves. Other employers may delay their layoffs until the next business cycle. On the other hand, the world is constantly changing, and we may never know which industry will be highly in demand and open up new jobs. At the same time, there might be companies and industries that are no longer relevant or needed. Should you be worried about getting laid off? If you work in an industry that is heavily regulated, your job may be at risk. Employers in heavily regulated industries are likely to lay off workers before they lay off workers in less regulated industries. If you work in an industry that is not heavily regulated, you may be safe from the layoffs. If you work for a large employer, you may have a higher chance of getting laid off. Smaller employers tend to be more careful about laying off workers. Finally, if you are a member of a minority group, you may be more likely to get laid off, which is quite unfortunate, but bias may occur in the company when laying off employees. Detecting layoffs at your company. As labor costs rise and business growth slows, companies have to make job cuts. Layoffs often aren't a reflection of a worker's performance, so you can't prevent them. It is those who land on their feet, however, who are able to spot when layoffs are imminent. What are the signs that your job might be at risk? Take a look at some signs you might be at risk of losing your job and what you can do to protect your career. Here are signs that layoffs are coming to your company. Raising your hand for big projects and being passed over is a red flag especially if it happens repeatedly. Find out what future projects you can expect to take on from your manager. Answers that are vague are a warning sign. Start updating your resume. When perks disappear, be cautious. This is a warning sign that money is tight when fun things are no longer sponsored. An acquisition or merger has taken place. As a whole, an event like this might benefit a company, but it isn't always a good sign for its employees. It is unnecessary to have duplicate positions, so layoffs could be imminent. There's a notable increase in stress among the executives. Your employer is experiencing a hiring freeze and job postings are disappearing. A round of layoffs has already taken place. It's not the end of the world if one round of job cuts happens. It is likely that there will be more rounds if there are more than one. You aren't safe just because you survived one round of layoffs. Be alert and listen to what's going on. If layoffs are definitely coming to your company, then you need to start taking action now. What can you do if you're about to be laid off? If you're worried that you might be laid off, there are some things you can do to improve your situation. First of all, find out if your employer is laying people off. If so, you'll be better prepared to react. You can also try to find out why your employer is laying people off. If there is something you can do to improve your performance and stay employed, now is the time to do it. If you are a member of a minority group, try to improve your language skills and computer skills. This will make you more employable in the event of a downturn. At the same time, if you feel like you can no longer serve the company, it is time to say goodbye and you must start looking for a new job as soon as possible. In conclusion, if you are worried about getting laid off, the best thing you can do is to keep an eye on the business news. When you see an uptick in layoffs, you can prepare yourself for the worst. Even though layoffs are a drag on the economy, they are sometimes necessary. 
we may be experiencing a cyclical downturn, and it is healthy for the economy. It's when the economy is experiencing issues and businesses start to lay off workers that we have cause for concern. Do you think it's fair to lay off employees who have been tirelessly working for the companies? Let us know your thoughts on this in the comments below. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to ask them, and I will get back to you. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to share the knowledge with those who might find it useful. I will be back with more videos. Until then, take care and stay tuned.